If you've been junk journaling for more than 15 minutes, odds are good you have a pile of these. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. They're all over the place. You get them from magazines, from digital kits. They're everywhere. And my friend over at Doki Doki Forest, Amy, has come up with a plan for these. It's an open collaboration, which means anyone can play along. If you'd like to play along, please use the hashtag piles to poems. Don't get freaked out about the poems. I'm going to address that here in just a minute. Stay. Don't run away because I said the P word. There's another P word and it's, it's okay. It's all right. Anyway, she came up with a fantastic idea to make good use of these because we have collected, most of us have collected far more than we could ever use on ATCs or on journal pages. Or I just did a thing the other day using my ransom letters for what ended up being journal cards or tags or bookmarks. I mean, we all have more than enough of everything than we're ever ever going to use. So I'm here today to give you my take on Amy's plan, which again is called hashtag piles to poems, because like a lot of people, poetry makes me nervous. I have an MFA, a Master's of Fine Arts degree in writing, creative writing, but I majored in creative nonfiction. And to my brain, Creative nonfiction is at this end of the spectrum, and poetry is at the polar opposite of that writing spectrum. And everything in between fiction and novels and true crime and, and reality and memoir and essays and exposés, and they're all on that spectrum. And to me, creative nonfiction and poetry are about polar opposites. So when I hear the tag, hashtag piles to poems, my brain flips it to hashtag piles to prose, which means writing, <laughs> which means just any kind of writing. So if you're not into poetry or rhyming, if you have flashbacks of trying to do haiku for a high school English class, fear not. Just make up funny sayings. For a while, I suppose on and off, it's been popular to cut out people's heads and put them on cat bodies or vice versa, put people head, animal heads on people's bodies. Think of this the same way. You're taking different pieces and parts and mixing them up and putting them back together in a different fun way. These are just a few things that were loose on my desk. I have all about the weekend, best ways, best ways to build your summer, mindful fall in frizz. I have no idea what that means. I don't have to know what that means. It was just fun to come up with. Redefine your taste. And that was just from the few things that were sitting here that I recently collected. On that topic, I'd also like to say, once you start hashtag piles to poems, you start collecting these a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you my collection here in just a second. You'll either be sort of impressed or overwhelmed or I've lost my my nut. Either way, it's fine. When I'm harvesting magazines, I'm always on the lookout for cool phrases. I love plays on words. Them, some things never change. And they mix up the words and they have some fun with word play. Instead of think outside the box, Taco Bell said think outside the bun. That's fun with wordplay, and I love that kind of stuff. So I'm always looking for cool words to use in my projects. In almost all of my kits, there are quotes, there are words that are related to whatever. I love words. But now that I'm doing this hashtag, this will be the first of what I think will be many videos using Amy's hashtag, is I noticed that when I was harvesting, I harvest words just a little bit differently. Instead of looking for things that are already made for me and things that I can place, like, oh, that'd be a great on a lake page or that would be great on a, a dog page or I love this for my Boston's book. I'm thinking in terms of this hashtag. And when you see things that, that have redefined, this probably said redefine your standards or redefine your workout, or I don't even know what it said before but I just cut out redefine your because that 
redefine your weekend, redefine your frizz, redefine your taste, redefine your summer, you know, look for things like that. Best ways to frizz, best ways to fall in frizz, or all about, it's all about summer. It's all about taste, right? Build your during the, so you're getting half the story and then you go find the other half. During the summer, mm, build your mindful life. <laughs> This is a lot like magnetic poetry, if you remember that. That was real big in the 80, late 80s, early 90s, I believe. Fantastic. I got a, I have a, and there was refrigerator poetry where you'd put the magnets on the refrigerator and make a different poem every day. Fantastic fun. There's also something else I'd like to bring to this hashtag piles to poems collaboration is that, open collaboration, is that there's a something called six word memoirs. There's a an urban legend, I'll call it. I think it's about Hemingway was at a bar, which was not unusual, and someone challenged him to write the shortest novel ever. And here's what he wrote on a bar napkin. For sale. Baby shoes. Never worn. There's an enormous story there, and you don't need any more than that six words. And from that urban legend came the six word memoir. It's sort of a challenge. It was big in the early 2000s. People were doing six word memoirs all over the place on their websites and on their YouTube channels. And, and I think that's another way to explore the piles to poems hashtag. Again, if poetry bothers you, don't do poems. If you can't make things rhyme to save your soul, don't work at it. You can still play along because, again, most of us have a collection of these things. This is a huge photo album that I have that I never put pictures in. These are just miscellaneous things that I have stuck up here in the front since 1975, <laughs> right? You could add that to almost anything. Various words, new ground rules. That's fun. I love numbers and dates. That's all I have this for is 86 July 2019. Some fun old license plate dates. So these all have to be sorted. Lots of stickers. I think these would count if you want to throw a sticker in. It's still words. And we still we have piles of stickers as well as piles of words we have harvested. No buts about it. Cut that off. No buts about it. Redefine your taste. Maybe a six word memoir. Yay! Always remember to. This is a whole sticker set that pretty much goes along with what I'm saying here. You find these first, it says, you can't hardly see it. Always remember to. And then there was a whole sticker list. Always remember to wonder. Always remember to love, wish, share, dance, sing, try, whisper, smile, cherish. So if you find words like that, you can fill them in with endless different things. Anyway, in this giant photo album, I have black and white, black and white inside. I got these from, this is from a book jacket, a dust jacket from a hardcover book, magazines, books. Most of this is from magazines, all different kinds of shapes and sizes, single words, partial phrasers, every microphone and ear. That's kind of creepy. Is this a perfect setup? No. Depending on what I do with it, I throw this book around a lot. It gets moved a lot, so stuff gets jostled in and out a lot, but it's all right. I haven't seen a single ephemera keeper that's perfect, so I love this. I always know where all my stuff is. More black and white. This is very creamy. I want that separated from the pure black and white. This is just stuff I've harvested and not sorted yet, but I have piles and piles of this stuff. Some are on vellum that I've cut up. Here's to the innovators. Curves ahead. And you just don't know where it's going to take you. These are colored, you know, blue text and purple text, different color backgrounds. I also have, while we're here, um, some vintage stuff some naturally aged vintage things, lots of color, colored words, 
I, I usually get it for the catalog, or excuse me, for the font. If I don't find ways to use the word, I could certainly cut this down for ransom letters. And your ransom letters could come in handy. It seems to me one of the videos I watched Amy do, she ended up handwriting some things in, which is also a, a great option. Uh, but you could also use your ransom letters in this kind of project as well. Another way to make use of those. More color. These are bigger, more phrases than just words. Lots of color, bigger still. Goodbye, chaos. Or never skimp on chaos. I love this. I, I just think this is going to be so much fun. Live to learn. Lo live your story. Can you type? <laughs> can you type? Or can you live your story? And you'd have to add a question mark. Numbers might come in handy as well. 82 clicks lots of different numbers and they're separated these are color these are white with purple or blue these are creamy colored and vintage i do have some sort of organization here dates are fun march 17th put it you know what happened in los angeles in 2008 this was a fun book it had the year 1862 virginia that would be the start of something cool who knows what I find some fun things in library books. This one is stamped, which is kind of awesome. Again, vintage stuff, full-on dates, June 24th, 27, 2020. Oh, what did that say? Catalogs are a great place. I, this is a home sign. You could get cut out catalogs, welcome mats. There's one that I just found the other day that says, come on in, we're fabulous. <laughs> I love that. So not just magazines, catalogs are a great place to find these kind of things. Postage and post postmarks. These are fun to add to not necessarily piles to poems, but if you're doing background pages or, or master boards to then add your piles to poems. There we go. More distractions. They're everywhere. That's no lie. I have been collecting signatures for a very long time. Five things you should what <laughs> do today six word memoir there you go i'm not sure what i'm going to do with all of my signatures once i have them but as i've said a thousand times there's even some vintage ones from 1940s and 1930s books uh, if you have just one meh who cares but if you have a whole collection of them they tend to look pretty cool put together i i love barcodes too for some reason I think that's it, but you can see I've got loads of room here to grow if need be. Other things that I could store in here. Here's where a lot of my words to live by. These are on my Etsy store. Creativity, words to live by. Uh, this is an alternative to small talk. There's summer words and fall words and creativity words and all kinds of things uh, to help you along in your process. But you don't need my kit. You can pull this stuff out of anything catalogs magazines books old planners letters from people i find old notes and stuff in books that i get from the thrift store uh, and how am i going to use them well i, I want to do some in this in a glue book style but i recently did a video about making it was supposed to be making tags but i ended up making different things these cards probably look familiar because I just showed them. But instead of using the ransom word, ransom letters to make one word, you can certainly do this on a journal card. Some things never change. Mindful summer. And that could be it. It doesn't have to be anything more than that. You can just... If you want to harken back to your English classes, if you were not scarred, just make some some fun poems in a in a blank page. Might separate them by black lines. I have this bag of stuff that I've been collecting, just colors from magazines. I got this idea from Cat Hand a long, long, long time ago because she made she makes all these color coordinated things and I love it. She just goes to her bag and she pulls out all the teal stuff and then puts it together and bam, it's really cool. So I've been collecting lots and lots of things from watching cat hand videos years and years ago. 
um, you could certainly just pull out a background that you've collected and put your your piles to poems on here or use these as backgrounds or I have in here I have a lot of these dark strips so instead of drawing lines you could just glue glue strips down to separate your piles to poems poetry magical prose six word memoir memoirs however you want to use it in your mind but so that we can all find you stick to the hashtag piles to poems so that we can find what you're doing and see how you're making use of the hashtag and making use out of the piles and piles of words that you have collected over the years i'm going to go clean this area a little bit and get some things together and then we'll put one together this time like i said i think there'll be lots of these so i just want to do something real quick i'll be back in a minute I would like to point out that I have some things in here that I had gotten ready to do my version, my first attempt at hashtag piles to poems. I collected some things that I wanted to put together, these pretty little blue dots and green dots. They were going to go together, maybe even with the red dots. I had a, I had a plan in my head, but nothing was, was gelling for me. It just... I don't know, it wasn't working. And so I'm bringing this to you to just say, that's okay. It doesn't have to be what you originally thought. You don't have to have a plan going in. And if you have a plan going in, great, it might change. And that's okay too. So this is one of my new composition books. And I want to put some of these in there. Uh, I'm going to be trying out my new Amazon Basics washable purple glue. I got 16 little tubes. They were on sale, a two pack for a quarter. So I'm going to use my 12 and a half cent glue today to see this is the first time I've opened it. I've not used it at all. So we'll see what I think. It's also fun when the words are already there for you, like I was talking about a little bit ago about wordplay already being there and whatnot. You don't have to work very hard, and sometimes they're just perfect. I love the colors of this. To the saucy, to the stunning, to the rowdy. Keeping it all together would be cool. Cutting them apart would be cool. Put some plain paper on the back to make this a nice journaling card. Sometimes you don't have to overwork it at all. But these piles to poems that I've come up with are addictive. I've got a few here that I'm going to put together. But as I'm putting those aside, I'm finding more and and uh, doing doing some more for next time. I've already got... I can see that this would be something that would just be so much fun to keep going and going. Speaking of the Amazon purchases, I also got these Amazon Basic Scissors two dollars and 99 cents when i got them last i checked they were two dollars and 39 cents and i am telling you what they cut like butter they're super sharp and they're they're good enough that you can put in a certain position and just slide if you want to do that kind of cut very happy with these scissors they cut like a dream so let's see what i came up with here for my first version my first attempt at piles to poems i have this little crabby girl crab this cute little hermit crab which i can totally relate to he's just sitting on my desk doing nothing i kind of want to put him together with this first one oh i am going to put them together um hello issue number 32 troublemaker moody and more. Now, it's it's an awful lot of blank space and a lot of people won't like that and that's fine. The other ones don't have such plain backgrounds. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I may be starting or I am starting to collect for a crab project. It might be a junk journal, might be a glue book. I, I'm not sure just yet, but I just think he's cute with that. So I'm going to go ahead with putting it here and the reason I'm leaving it plain is if I want to I can cut this all out and move it or tear out the page and move it to something with a different theme or a theme because this has none. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down glue it down this way. Now already this feels so strange in my hand because it's so tiny compared to what I'm used to and this is not a very big piece but I feel like it's gonna take forever to get some glue on there. Normally what I do is go right around the edges like so. 
I, I want to see how it how it operates it's nice and smooth this glue very smooth it's not lumpy or sometimes glues are what I call tight they just don't move this is nice and glidey I like glidey glue and because it's a cheaper glue I'm gonna put some on the page you can't see it now but i've got glue all over the back of my image that i'm going to glue so that the two adhere to each other i find that with the cheaper glue that really helps lock things in i'm just going to put my little cutie crab down there and then go into my other stuff and this would be it depending on how it sticks that that i'll have to get back to you on that to see how things stick although at the end it should be dry and we could see how well things are stuck down or not inside kind of where i want it give it a little glue down there i want that on a wee bit of an angle hello hello issue number 32 this one seems to have a lot of attitude, so of course I like that. I almost kind of want, hello, issue number 32, you're a troublemaker, moody and more, but I don't have that right now, so I'm just going to work with, with what I do have. Anyway, that's kind of cute. I like the plainness of it. I like just the word play and one simple. I like the simplicity of it, I guess. So let's... Can, you have some wiggle room, of course, because it's purple washable school glue, so it doesn't dry instantly, which in many cases is a good thing. And where it's already dried, it seems to be very secure. So we'll come back and check that in a little while. So the next one I want to put on this black paper, normal or not. Shaking things up since 1975. It had a question mark there, normal or not shaking things up since 1975. I like it to be m more of a question and I needed this question mark for the next one so we'll we're just gonna go with this. Now I'm just gonna glue this down. I can come back with some silver metallic marker or some Posca pen and do some doodle around it or write draw some frames around the words. I can I can jazz it up later put black marker on there just because the words are down doesn't mean it's necessarily done it can be does it have to be done nope you can add to it all you want Because it's torn, I like things a little kitty wampus, a little not necessarily perfect, kind of crooked. I could glue that down or I could just leave it. Could just make a whole bunch of these and make a glue book full of piles to poems. I could, I could. I don't know what just I want to do with all these. So we're just going to keep making them. So this one is one of the painty pages, one of the from my books of unwasted paint. I'm going to trim this up just a little bit because it's got a white border all the way around it and I, it doesn't have it at the top, so I don't want it all the way around. I don't want it all over the place, in some places and not in others, so I'm just going to take that border off the sides, I guess. Does it matter? Probably not to anybody but me. There's all different ways to do this. The secret, so I had these little colon like the secret is this redefine your rise and shine to me that says revamp your morning routine that's the secret but i like the question mark better i think the secret redefine your rise and shine i don't like that sideways as well as I liked it the other way. What if we do it upside down like that? 
I'm going to glue all these down, and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. So here's the end result. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to glue them in here or what. So I'm not going to do anything until I decide what I'm going to do. But here's my piles to poems results for today. I like them just plain. Like I said, I could go around the border with this. I could put silver markers, silver mark making, silver stickers. I could do all kinds of things with this. Normal or not, shaking things up since 1975. So you saw as well, the secret, redefine your rise and shine. Genius. Rooted in common sense, not a lot of nonsense. I love that. Simply made, great ideas on demand. Yes, please. And finally, one with a picture. He just happened to be sitting here. I, I have been collecting owls for an owl book, but I could put that in there too. That's fine. Hooray! I must be nuts. Can you type? Kind of like, you know, something shiny. This was great fun. Like I said, I, I totally can see doing lots of these because they're great, great fun to do. You can put a piece of coffee dyed paper on the back or some craft paper, some leftover packaging, notebook paper, whatever. Make it a journaling card. You can also gesso over this and do something on this side or glue it down into an owl junk journal or do a whole collection of piles to poems or piles. Again, remember, it doesn't have to be poetry. Piles to prose. You can do six minute memoirs. You can do just funny little phrases. There's all kinds of things that can be done with this. So Amy, thank you very much. This was really a fun project and I totally see making more of these and using them in various projects. Have a whole glue book full, put them in a junk journal, put them in an altered book, use them as a journal card. Endless possibilities. This one on black, just a white gel pen, you could use that as a journal journaling spot and then just washi tape it into something so that you could see the writing. Of course washi tape you could take it out, blah blah blah. Anyway, terrific fun. If you're doing it, please use the hashtag, hashtag piles to poems, so we who are participating in Amy's open collaboration can find you because we'd like to see what you're coming up with and different ways that we might be able to do this. Looking forward to it. In the meantime, go up up your beastlies. Have some fun with them today because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Mate at the lake. Out for now.